Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and my name is Aishna and I will be a tutor for Spellby International, the language of life. And we are seeing difference between American and British English. So for part one and part two, we were seeing the spelling and we completed this. So we'll just take that out of our list. And now at this part, at part three, we're going to move on to the pronunciation. Just give me a moment. I will just keep my pronunciation. Okay. So let's get started. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button below. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So let's get started and not waste time. Pronunciation. The way the words are pronounced in America differs quite sustainably from the Commonwealth. This goes to the essence of the course which differs vastly within America and within individual Commonwealth countries. However, there are some common elements that definitely distinguish Americans from the Commonwealthers. Over here, we are uh, talking about the Britishers. Don't get confused between the Commonwealthers and the Britishers. They both are the same. Because as you know, we are seeing the difference between American and the British English. So the Commonwealthers are the British Englishers. Rounding. People in Commonwealth pronounce many of their A in a rounded way. That is, their mouth have a rounded shape. Americas pronounce some A in the way such as park. So for park, we're saying R, right? R, like it, we almost say like O. R, right? Park, R. But most of these have flatted sound like hat. So at this case, you are saying a. Ah. Say with me, guys. A. Ah. Park, hat. At this case, we can see the difference. Example. A in the word ask is pronounced like in the way in hat. So American pronounces pronounce ask as Ask, ask, but Britishers say as ask, hat, ask, but the Britishers say it as car and park. See, the Commonwealth, the A in ask is pronounced more like the A in car and park, but the ask is pronounced like A in hat in America, okay? Don't get confused. In America, we say ask, but in British uh, language, we say as ask. Ask and ask. Say with me, everyone. Ask and ask. Pronunciation is continued. T's versus D's. Commonwealthers pronounce their T sound with precision. Americans tend to either drop their T completely or replace them with a D. Here are some examples. Mountain, mountain, mountain. See, you can see that they replaced it with this thing. Just a second. They replaced it with this one over here, the column, or place to be a program. Then daughter. For daughter, we use T, but they replaced it. Who replaced it? The Americans replaced it with daughter. Daughter. Okay, do you understand, guys? So, daughter, this one is pronounced by the Commonwealthers, that is the Britishers. They pronounce it with pres precision. When the Americans tend to either drop their thing, T completely. See, they dropped it. Instead, for mountain, they, for the T, they kept this one. So, they drop the T completely. So, this one comes here. Or replace them with the D. Which is this case. Comes over here. Then, letter. For letter... The Commonwealthers say it as letter, letter, but the American English is saying it as letter. Actually, this is not the spelling. Don't get confused. Daughter, mountain. See, this 
don't mind this one okay the second one they i just kept it just for your reference how they pronounce it but this is not the spelling how they write it we are seeing the pronunciation not the spelling we are seeing the pronunciation guys so don't get confused this is not the spelling of americans or the british this is the right spelling so for mountain they drop the t completely mountain and daughter they say it as d daughter for letter the britishers use it as letter but the americans use it as letter so when you you know i was from new jersey and when i am talking even even i was saying it as letter right so i use american english letter then we are having norton so britishers use it as the t but the americans just dropped it there's no t nor okay did you understand this because this one is important and we must know this the t's versus d's is an must important okay don't forget it it's very important i review it again in the next class Let's just move on to the next one. The ING form. So we're moving on to the ING form. Americans do not pronounce the G in many words ending ING. So for example, running. So when, so as I told you, I was from New Jersey and I said running, right? But I did not use G, right? Running. I said running. But the Britishers use it as running, running. So walking is how Britishers say, and Americans say it as walking. Hey, how are you? I'm good. What are you doing? Just walking. Okay, walking. We say that, right? You must uh, have heard it many in Hollywood movies. Walking, running, riding. So, writing is how the British is pronounced and the Americans pronounce it as writing. I'm writing. I'm riding my bike. Then driving. So, driving is how the British say and Americans say driving. What are you driving? The British is asking, what are you driving? And American responds, I'm driving a car. Driving. Okay? Hope you understood this. I'll meet you on the next class, part 4. I'll give you a small peek. And this is what is going to be on the next class. Pronunciation emphasis. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to click the like button. And subscribe to my channel, Homeschool. I'll meet you with many more episodes. Goodbye.